So we're back with Karun CRX. We got all the right parts. We got the clips to convert the injector harness to OBD2. And we got OBD2 injectors to change because these ones are old. They came with a swap with a few swaps ago. Yeah. And we have no idea the condition on them. Might as well refresh it just so the car is running at 100. We got the right alternator and the right size alternator belt. So we're going to get into that now. So basically we're going to be changing from the little kind of like hook holding type clip, which seems to like break under heat and stuff. Like this one is cracked over here. This one is cracked over there. This one is cracked on this side. And the number one is cracked up front. So we're going to change those over to the pinch style as well as the injectors just so they're new stuff all around. Um, I'm gonna swap the alternator out now that we know the right way to do it. I'm gonna pop the rail off since we gotta do the injectors anyways. Two birds, one stone. I already started breaking some of the stuff free or I might have left it loose the last time. Who knows with me at this point. And let's get into it now. We got some much needed adjustment space the other belt i don't know why advanced or autozone always gives us way too long of a belt we even asked for the crv one i don't know what the issue was but we took the part number right here is the length and just went down uh, 20 millimeters and that's the one we needed so it's in new alternators on we're going to move on to the injectors and stuff and then the heater hose, because this one has a nasty little slice over here. And that's gonna be the next thing to go once it gets to Cummings Highway, which is its bad luck spot where it likes to break stuff. So we'll get into that now. Just kidding, we're actually gonna do the idle air control valve first. Um, that way we're not burning too much sunlight and then breaking this guy free because it decides to run a little weird. I think this one is stuck open because the idle is super high. And then once it's disconnected, it kind of normalizes. So we're just gonna break this guy free, replace it with another one, and then go from there. And then we'll get into the injectors and all that stuff. As you can tell, kind of prolonging cutting and splicing since the pins don't fit into the OBD2 clips. It's been a very long time since I've worked on the CRX. The last CRX harness I built was for that one. And that one I just did from scratch, so. Learning curve, it's been a while since I had an EF here. Well, a normal OEM EF, one that didn't have like a standalone harness. So we're getting into that now. All right, so initially I thought I had the camera going while we was doing the injector plugs and the idle air control valve and the heater hose, but it wasn't going. The camera had died. We're back to it now. Now we have the hose no longer sliced up. Got the new hose, got the idle air control valve done in the back, and we have it converted to OBD2 on the injectors. We also tucked them away and kind of cleaned up the wiring a little bit and got rid of the evap purge system over here on the other side so now we're going to get to starting the car up to check for leaks on the fuel system side and then refill the radiator the radiator with the antifreeze that we lost from undoing the hoses so you just want to key on the car yeah. key on key off key on key off you see leaks at the bottom at the fuel rail. Nothing yet. One more? Nope. One more? All right, go for it. Got a bang starter? I guess next video we're going to change the starter out.
på den gear. Jag tänker för att kort. Having some technical difficulties. Yeah. Uh, Just a couple of difficult. No. God damn it. Sometimes I have to jump it from the igniter. Yeah, we're not doing that. Here we are. to fixing the idle problem. It's idling much more consistent. It's around 950-ish. The tack is still bouncing between 9 and 1100, but it's fairly consistent. Finished up with the car, got the coolant bled because we did let some leak out a little bit when we took off the idle air control valve and the heater hose. So that's it for this one. It looks like we'll be doing a starter next and probably a header because we did find a crack on the number one runner. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up. Uh, let's see if you can pick it up. Right, right there where you see the black line has a hairline crack going and the bottom is pancaked anyways. So I'll probably just upgrade it to something different. So that'll do it for this one. We'll catch you next time on Mojo Garage. So remember to like, subscribe, comment and whenever you see ace roast them